This is making moves. And we have 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank series. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office. No matter, from a bicycle. Oxalaya, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One. Zansi for show. I don't see financials. Tell us about a bit about the financials. In the previous uh, financial year, mm -hmm. uh, we managed to see more profits than any other year. This guy is making 1.4 million yep. a year. You should go and get an overdraft. This is the type of entrepreneur I like. Yeah. I will not apply for an yeah. overdraft. Yeah. I will never apply for an overdraft. I'm not sold on what you're saying, Lucas. Is he coming back? I still think he's, he was a little bit slack with not paying the money and just, you know, tripling the business and that. Really? Yeah. At the tender age of 13, Ntutuzi Makakula had already cut his teeth in the entrepreneurial space. The soft-spoken but hard-working entrepreneur from Papatin in Mpumalanga is now making waves in the electrical engineering industry. Sikrite usugula pay business in lake dom lease. La poke besfunguazi gabanzi gama services aki. Futi nogu tige yini lena engaga enza iprokom ibe indu mezulu entlega cool kumakasmendaki. Ase patplas na se papatun. Sanbonani, Kamala Mumtutuzi Makakula. I'm the founder of Brocom Electrical. Our company uh, offers um, electrical installation services to asset owners in the utilities, commercial, industrial, and mining. This is a plus name plan. This is what Kita Usugu needs. This is why Kamala is going to come to us. Come to us again. We are electrician. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. We are going to be able to do business like it. Yes. I think I was I was 13. Uh business lam lookala and makaya la gum kulele corner. So nkabanga guti kula na me and born and connect managers katsa me and corner foot in a guti ng spend a mali lengi and then less castle and funana so gum inspire a cool and sakula so much business man cala. Yeah, so we will uh, um, storage set two yeah, well, well. for uh, the facility which are iPad Plus. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we store uh, material. Uh -huh. I'm a Toulouse. Conquer Clalala. Conquer Clalala. Guys, go to put you in any in Dow, a Babati. Yes. I'm Kazil and Gazo Zombi in Dow, Les, which is seven Sanagaja. Basically, uh, this is where we started. Mm -hmm. uh, this used to be my old house oh. in Kalalana. Yeah. I mean, so now C7 is a storeroom mm -hmm. and then a meeting place in Alena. Mm -hmm. the, the office is in Babaton. Mm -hmm. So we decided to keep Lens our life at last because mm -hmm. it's actually nearer to some of our clients. I'm a services or provider, Guma client to Akum. I'm a services engine. It's basically from design, installation, uh, and also maintenance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nasi nchini nene nongeni banga kige abantu abasebenza na walakai 
C8 full time. Yeah, uh, but sometimes we ramp up to 15, yeah. sometimes 22, mm -hmm. depending on the project. So, Labanya is by letter in contract basis, mm -hmm. whether I project here three months, then we take them for that time, and then after that, Baham, we go to a full time C8. So when I sprayed 2013, then we meet up for I'm doing a color business. Then must figure 2013 such a project ever comes from last tally corner. Naba is site manager, a company. Then is a color lapu seven. Sim do mundulo flexibly, mundulo total of Pumaga Kulum, mundulo discipline, unema ITS, everything Jengaye is very good. Lana, yeah. it's a credit. Yeah. It's one of our clients. Mm. So it's totally actually a colleague saying I'm trying to, yeah. to say that they have a problem because this is their advertising board, mm -hmm. their sign, so I can't even afford. Yeah. So now we are here to uh, see if we can help them. When this whole building was purchased, you know, uh, it was like an abandoned building. So uh, we called other electricians in the first place. You know, they're different. We didn't have background checks and all those things. They did their own stuff, but it didn't work uh, until we got the Brocom guys. In the game, we've got, you know, predators, your big cats, uh, meaning uh, your lions, tigers, uh, cheetahs. Those things without power or uh, electricity around them, you know, they can escape in time, then they can, you know, cause damages to other animals and human beings. So they went there, they managed to help us with uh, fixing the electricity problem that side. Surely the equipment is something that you can hire with your working capital that you use in your project. Uh, it's, uh, okay. You know there's good debt and there's bad debt, right? Corner yes. overdraft. Why couldn't you just get an overdraft and just finance getting that certification? Ukula ungena baba zani. Kia kube inte nge kolula ga kulu kubantabashi. Ega kulu ga zilabo ga basa tinga ze ngebizu kubazali babu. Loku ya gona kakizange gumvimbe umtutuzi. Jongo bagi linsi zwa lena ge ya funda isi ngani uguzmel fut nugu tabe ngu soma biznis. Romli sawe watu kusana nati wasichela ge upunzi ma umdenu waki oi wapigana nabu fut nugu ti ili pige ikaza umalume waki aljala empilu eni yaki. Shogu se si po. Bandwana Bamaguam and the song Sikula Slatan and Ole de Weban, a name Pelam Fana, and then Nagosa Slabai three older sisters, I'm actually the youngest. Song just in Biza boot, 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 and then I saw Vivan Jehutu Vele, we and Uput. We used to fight a lot. We see Loga Kulu, see Vele and Jays, Kitimisa, and I want to Bandwana Bazala in Inis. It's not covered in the feeling. It's not covered uh, up to la ode di lami la tena se li shona kona cause be bega kula mundu bega ne kensa la wano em vago shone lang ma besla la so itu singe na imtal like he says wam lorum kulu bega sa ya enzi le abo na lorum lama abo na ye bega sa ya enzi le sekse le mine na ye abo and I'm actually mean and I, we have to eat. 
Se umtu ukulele la pekaya, wafunza skolo la pekaya. Klala na malume kwa ame kumusitile kakule mbili ni amikozo. Unkulise njenga bandwa na baake wea bwana. Na ame bia unkula njenga bu msala wa ame. Mapa pume kisemba ya skule na mge skule. Mapa buya nga buya. Mas kangile songe songe strong, you understand? So, bebanga nkwishe banga nkwa ya kanga ago. Aye na zanga sa tupe we umfana nglandeli nkomo. Angenzela nje konke nje angasimfana lo sinaksanyana ukuthi mhlambe uhamba hamba nebantu laba rongwanyana bekuyi i decision le right ngoba ukhonile khula wayekela konke la bekakwenda waba ngumntwana lo right wakhona ukuthi afundze sikolo Gamalume there's a dam there and then when the tourists who always come to the dam for fishing, and uh, they would come there and then pastraglish and bait the earthworms. I realized I would say these guys they don't even know where to find earthworms at the time sometimes. So uh, why don't I just step in, find the earthworms for them, and then I told her to come soon. They say, "Go find my kenin." Five rand, ten rand, fifteen rand. I mile Since I'm gonna feel mile, I got half foot I've got two daughters. Uh, cool. Nabo Batanzana, his sisters, Batanza Papa, so Savanaga cool. Oh, we have responsibility for bando na ba kaitas responsibility because we are doing this if we cool and apart the rooms are the rooms in Maganga Nan. I really can't stay a week without speaking to them. From running a one-man operation in 2011, Mtutuzi has refined his services to offering electrical design and maintenance to mines in his province. Jenga manji use studio tukusana no oken. Jengo bagi lento gazi yonagi ifu nukuzusi saka banzi. Ama asuge umtutuza ana wazo msiza unjontobali sa business lake. Just arrived. La gu making moves a studio. Here to meet with Okela and I can't wait to learn a lot from her. Brocom Electrical provides electrical engineering and maintenance services to its market. The company services two mines as their regular clients, and business seems to be growing at a steady rate. But it's never enough. Mtutuzi needs to expand his business. Welcome to Making Moves Mtutuzi. Do have a seat. Okay, then. So, Brocom. Brocom. Yes, yes. How did you come up with the name for your business? Uh, Brocom actually stands for Brothers Company. Okay. Uh, so it's actually, yes, I'm the only director, but we are all brothers in the company. So okay. just trying to promote the spirit of brotherhood. So why exactly did you go into business? What was it that made you leave your employment to come into business? Uh, I've always been working uh, for Amayama companies mm. and Ngabon Wuti, you know, uh, the, 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 the business is there and there's a gap also in the market, but uh, there's, there are no companies uh, like a promoter, the spirit of brotherness and mm. brotherhood within Abasebens Bao. So okay. I decided to start something, so it's a blela song, it's Abasebens, and enjoy mm. working for it. Okay, Manje, Tutuzi, Jalang, I'm a client. Who are you currently servicing? Uh, we've got two mines mm -hmm. at the moment. 
Ngomati Mine. Okay. And also um, a subsidiary of Pan African Resources, which is Papaton Mines in Papaton. All right. So, Tutuzi, how are you marketing your business? What's your plan to grow it? Because Nyagu Zoguti, you've got these two now. Mm. Um, how are you going to get the third and the fourth mine? Um, recently, it's been very difficult mm. uh, to market because mm. most of the time, Jangama clients in an industrial space, you have to go and personally see them. Absolutely. You know? So, um, a, between the two mines, it's been word of mouth from mm. one mine to another. But recently, we've managed to draw another client also, uh, mm. trying to diversify Kanyane, which is a big mining pillar, going also into the industrial space. Mm. So we've got also a manganas. Man, so when, when Zaganja and Nguti, you aren't too split in your business, because now you have to be client facing. You have yes. to get more business, be on yes. site, be yes. seen by managers, yes. you know, uh, in order to get in more business. But also there's a back office, you know, somebody has to do the sales, somebody yes. has to do the administration of the business. How are you coping? Uh, recently, I've actually adopted um, a system, ISO 9001, okay. which has been actually helping me into um, putting procedures in, in place for Gutsi in general. Uh, something else, have a corner office in and doing something else. So mm. I've been employing, like we've got two people that we've employed recently. Impressive. We've got an electrician now that's also going to do most of the technical work in the client society. In F, and we've got a lady at the office that also actually looks after the clients in terms of relationships and mm. stuff. ISO 9001. What quality management systems do you have in place? And do you have formal certification of these processes? Uh, we've adopted the system. Okay. Uh, so I implement Amanje. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually want to have it um, audited. Okay. Uh, by I'm a consultant. We've got consultants that we're going to start working with. Okay. But I'm a US auditor. And if they see what we read Amanje for a certification, then we're going to go for either SAPS or their craft for certification. Okay, and yeah. why is it that you're only getting the certification now? So I need to got you some months, right? Yes. We, we, we make sure we build right from the onset. Yes. Why is it that you've waited to this point in your business to get the certification? It's expensive okay. How to much? get certified, uh, about 70,000 rands. Okay. So, um, as we were growing, mm -hmm. yes, we made money here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, some years were good, some were bad. Yeah, sorry to so, jump in there. It, yeah. When you say made money, Malin? Uh, previous year, we've made a total turnover of 1.4 million. Profit? Uh, about 30%. 30% of that? Yes. Whew. Okay. If the certification is what actually gets you the business, what gets people to trust your brand, what gets people to be like, open to do yeah. Then I would think that we would prioritize on the certification. Why haven't you prioritized the certification? Because I mean, surely the equipment is something that you can hire with your working capital that you use in your project. Uh, it's, uh, okay, you can get certified, we, we, we could, we, we could just get 70 grants from our savings and get certified. Mm -hmm. Say you get certified today. Mm -hmm. And then when you certify today, tomorrow, uh, maybe you go to another client, maybe you get a contract for a million rand and you've used your 100,000 rand that you were going to actually pump in into the contract law, it only look seven. And then now you are left without money. You are certified, you are there, but you don't have running costs. Okay, Keep but to do the you know, you know there's good debt and there's bad debt, right? Yes. Corner, e overdraft. Why couldn't you just get an overdraft and just finance getting that certification? I mean, if you're turning over about a million rand yes. in sales, yes. surely if you go to or to tell you overdraft, they won't say no. Yeah, it's true. Okay. As we've heard, Duduzi's business has grown steadily over the past few years. However, the lack of quality management systems and the lack of certification hampers his growth for future projects. He also doesn't seem to have a clear understanding on how changing legislation could propel his business to the next level. I'm pairing him up with one of our esteemed business coaches to guide him through the process of acquiring certification and growing into other markets. 
Studio interview was great today with Okela, and I think already I've started learning a lot of things from her. You make him over a million rand. Yes. Why are you not certified? You see, you, you're not prioritizing in your business. That worries me. We've never been funded, uh, so yeah, everything was started from scratch, and we've worked up to here. Kazeli <laughs> My question is, are you in an electrical space or are you in energy? Are you we are in electrical. Electrical. But yes, Perfect. we are moving into energy okay. slowly because it's... Uh, yeah. You are into le electrical. Yes. How many people are you employing? Uh, we've got eight guys full time, mm -hmm. but sometimes we ramp up to 15 depending on the projects we've got. Okay. Yeah. And, and largely your clients' minds. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any other clients outside the mining sector? Yes. Yes, okay. we do. And those are? Uh, it's, it's not a lot of them. Mm. We've got um, lodges as mm. well mm. that we do work for. We also have filling stations. Yeah. But we've got uh, also um, a client in the industrial, sp uh, industrial um, space. Yeah. He, Manganese uh, metal company, okay. a new client that we've just acquired right. recently. The, the first thing that, that I'm going to uh, bring to you is that I, I need you to, to start looking at as sustainable clients as you have in the um, mining sector, you need such sustainable clients but in other sectors as well. Okay, It worries me a little bit that probably about 80% of your business, 85% is in the mining sector. Okay, It worries me. When the business is focused, is completely in a single sector, that puts you in a greater risk. If anything happens into that sector, you're out of business. Okay, So let's try to, to, to sort of, it's electrical. So it cuts across and that you need to be able to, to get a stake on each market. There is potential there. I, I just feel that at this moment that they are not exploiting um, all the opportunities that are there in the space. Uh, but I'm also worried about the focus into what is important for the business is not there. You're employing eight guys and that, um, all full-time electricians, um, qualified electricians. Uh, we've got four okay. qualified, four qualified electricians. Yeah. And then we've got two semi-skilled. Yeah. And then we also have one boiler maker and an assistant. Okay. Um, interns? Uh, Apprenticeships? We've Learners? Got, uh, we've got one guy that actually comes in uh, over the holidays and then he's okay. still at school. Who pays him? I, I do. Okay. I do. The government is paying for it through the CETAS, you know. So when a business does not exploit such things as skills development funds and that, it's, it, it's not being smart. I've realized that he's right. Uh, we are not grooming enough, and for our kind of business to grow, we need to um, help other people, uh, groom other people into the business. So I'm going to start there as well. You spoke something about certification, ISO certification, and that. Yes. How much are you battling with quality of the job? Quality of the job is good mm -hmm. at the moment. What's the problem? Uh, when because now we are at a place where we actually expanding in the business mm -hmm. so now expanding means uh i want to be able to oversee everyone mm -hmm. uh, on different sides and also in different minds yeah so now that's why i've decided that you know what we take the route of quality certification because once you grow you won't be able to oversee other people right. and then if they know what to do because it's certification yeah, comes with processes and, and procedures, yeah. then they know yeah. what to do. Yeah. Um, but also the other thing is that at the moment where you are, you are not growing because of that as well. 
in the sector that you are in, mining um, and such sectors, if you are not ISO certified, it limits the business that you get. You see, in a, in a space where you're doing electricals, uh, construction and those certifications, uh, compliance certifications are, are things that are very important. Uh, coming from CIDBs, uh, the ISO certificate and that. And with the ISO certificate, I mean, these are things that could triple your business. They could, you know, multiply that business four folds in that. I don't think we can grow anymore if we are not certified because big projects requires you to be certified before you can even do anything. You're making over a million rand. Yes. Why are you not certified? You see, you, you're not prioritizing in your business. That worries me. Coaching session with Lucas was great. I learned a lot and yeah, I have to go back and just sit and think and see how I can actually implement uh, what we've spoken about. When he speaks about quality management, yeah. for the first time ever on the show, I hear someone that speaks about quality management understanding exactly what it is. I don't think he needs this 50,000 right? Look, he didn't come out very strong with his financial presentation mm -hmm. today. Ah, Welcome back into Duzi. We are going to give you four minutes to pitch your business to us. Okay. Your four minutes starts now. San Bonani. Uh, my name is Mtutuzi Makakula. I'm the founding member of Procom Electrical. Uh, Procom is a professional provider of electrical engineering, maintenance and construction services to asset owners, predominantly in the utilities, industrial resources and infrastructure sectors. Our services allows our customers to focus what matters to what matters most in their companies, like production. Our current customers, we've got Ngomati, Babaton Mines, MMC, and also Cradle of Life. Uh, we are also planning to expand our clientele database by uh, visiting more giants in South Africa, like um, uh, and also uh, For us, more clients will mean more job opportunities for others out there. So we, pl we plan to um, also bring students from colleges and universities by offering learnerships, internships, and on-the-job training. By doing this, it will also um, help um, in addressing the issues of unemployment in the country that we're currently having. It will also help us groom uh, possible future Procomites, people that are going to work for us in the future. It will also um, help in skills development in and around host communities where we do our business. Our capabilities as Procom, uh, we are a 3EP CITP grading company, which means we are capable of performing contracts up to the value of 2 million. But we are unable to operate um, to the best of our capabilities. You have two uh, minutes left to do this. Um, quality management system is where we actually want to use uh, the 50,000 rents. Uh, investment from making moves. We already um, have acquired a good and effective quality management system with cost, which uh, has costed us 21,000 rands. So this 50,000 rand will now go directly uh, towards the certification process. 
Uh, we understand that a system certification process for a company our size may cost up to 120,000 rands, but we managed to get assistance from a company called Check IMS to assist us on discounted prices on uh, the certification as we are a 100% um, youth-owned business. Uh, they are going to assist us in uh, four steps. The first one is uh, they'll do a gap analysis, which will cost us 9,600 rands. Um, secondly, they'll also uh, implement and uh, help train our, uh, our guys in uh, quality management system, which will cost us 38,000 rands. And the final audit before we go for certification is going to cost us 9,600 rands. Um, and then the certification will cost us 20,000 rands, totaling um, 77,200. The yellow uh, striped columns there is actually where the investment of uh, that we're going to get from making moves is actually going to go. Uh, being ISO 9001 compliant uh, does not uh, is not only a statutory requirement, but also ensures customer satisfaction. It will help us reduce um, operating costs ability to win more business, we can easily triple our turnover in a matter of maybe six months or so. Uh, lastly, as I close, because quality services will never go out of fashion, it will continue to be the hallmark of our projects, our people, and also our commitment to the industry. Thank you. In business, we do business with people, right? Yes. And you know this because you've built a whole company, named yes. your company around Brocom relationships. Yes. That's why when you're presenting, it's really critical to make eye contact. Body language is a lot, goes a long way in communication. So when I see your eyes and when I see your posture, that it's confident, it makes your presentation very impactful. First, perhaps uh, I should congratulate you on, uh, you do take advice. I think you are a teachable entrepreneur. Um, so a lot of things that we spoke about, you were able to factor them into that. However, what concerns me is that I don't see financials. Tell us about a bit about the financials. Um, in the previous uh, financial year, mm -hmm. uh, we managed to see more profits than any other year mm -hmm. uh, because we already had the system that we've purchased for, uh, for 21,000 rand. Mm -hmm. So we are actually implementing and uh, our processes are changing. We are managing. How much money did you make? 1.4 million. Uh, in turnover. So was that turnover? Turnover, yes. And bottom line, what were your profits? 30%. 30% of that? 30% of that, Is that... So you made money? Yes, we are finally You're making, making money. money, yes. And why have you not paid for the certification? Uh, it's an expensive uh, certificate. It's, it's very expensive to get You make 30% profit on 1.4 million rand. Yes, and um, our plan is actually um, to hold on to capital because when you are in our industry, you get paid sometimes it takes 30 days or up to 60 okay. days. So we want to hold on to our capital as much as we can. And if we can get assistance, then we can, because already, once you are ISO certified, it means yeah. you can now access more jobs and then you need the capital. Okay. Mm. Do, do they, how did you make, take advantage of that? You're saying that there's difficulty getting money in from your clients, 30 days, 60 days. Are you negotiating anything around that? Yes, uh, we do negotiate with our clients, especially with big invoices. We offer them a discount and um, they pay us maybe quicker in seven days or so. Um, just on the on the numbers again, I just want to check with you. The have you done the study as to what you what you losing out on now by not having the ISO certification? Have you done that? Yes. That study. Yes. And more or less, give me a figure. Uh, we're losing a lot of work because up to where we are, uh, we are. We have been graded grade three. That means we can do up to two million of work. Yes. And you, there's no way a company can actually give you a job for two million if you are not ISO certified because they are not mm -hmm. sure if you're only talking of quality or you know what you're talking about. So ISO certification is the only way to prove to say, yes, we know what we're talking about. This is the proof. Mm. Tell me more about your customers. Tell me more about how you're going to target and position yourself for those customers. Our customers are actually people who are driven by production. As they're in mining, they have to make sure production is there, you know. 
So they don't really have time to go back and do maintenance even when there's something new in the market. So uh, I attend a lot of um, uh, seminars, mm -hmm. conferences. I see what's new in the market, what can work better for them. And then uh, I go there and uh, I, I, I present to them. If it's a code, then we take it mm -hmm. from there. So we do from new projects, we do designs for them. We mm -hmm. also help them comply because when we are busy trying to make uh, production in the company, compliance is always left behind. So that's where we come through, we do their audits, we make sure they comply with mm -hmm. electrical uh, installation regulations as well. Thank you, Mtutuzi. Thank you. We're going to take a moment to deliberate on your presentation. So we're just going to ask you to step out for a moment as we do so. All right, thank you. I think my pitch went very well. Uh, um, yeah, as I've also incorporated most of um, what I've been advised to, and it really worked well with my, my presentation as well. He's in a mining industry. He's uh, coming against guys who have high capital, strong capital mu mm -hmm. muscle. In order for him to grow, he just doesn't have, I'm gonna say, generational capital. When you're in that mining sector, the question mm -hmm. is, are you trying to take up on the big guys, or are you trying to build yourself up? Yes. Lucas, yesterday you spent some time with Ndotuz mm. and you coached him on some of the areas that he could improve in his business. Mm. On that basis, what do you think? How do you think he did today? You know, I, I, for me, he's probably one of the most teachable I've sat with. Um, there's so a lot of things that he took and he didn't just take things that you are saying. He was able to incorporate things into his business, meaning that he understood what one was saying mm. about his business and that. Quite impressed with that. Look, I still think he's, he was a little bit slack with not paying the money and just, you know, tripling the business and that. But I also do understand his reasoning in that. And, 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 and he does have a healthy cash flow now, so mm -hmm. it does make sense to me. Yes, he could have tripled that business and mm -hmm. that. I, I still think, you know, if you don't win this, then what? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Are you going to wait mm -hmm. or anything and that? And, you know, I think there he needs to take a decision, mm -hmm. but um, I've got faith it's, it's the business that we'll see, that we'll see the light today. I'm not sold on what you're saying, Lucas. Mm -hmm. This guy is making 1.4 million yep. a year. Um, working capital for me is no excuse. He's keeping 30% you know? in he, the pocket. He, I mean, he should go and get an overdraft. That's what an overdraft is for, you know? It's not all bad debt. Or put aside a kitty, have a, have a percentage that yeah. he can build up a working capital reserve. So I still don't see why he hasn't done it. Martine, what do you think? I also see a place safe financial yeah. person. That's what I see. Yeah. Mm. He's got a good business. He's very cautious in terms of his finances. Mm. I mean, you can have a look at his at his at his financials. Yeah. Very cautious in terms of his finances, um, and that's not a bad thing for mm. me. Yeah. You know, I understand that, and maybe later on in life, as as he grows and as an entrepreneur and and becomes more confident in the financial side of things, mm. he'll make better decisions because he's not making bad decisions at the moment. But for mm. example, an overdraft that might be a very daunting thing for him because he's mm. never accessed credit before mm. or a credit line before, etc. Mm. It's extremely daunting to um, to young individuals, and he's. You so quite, that, yeah. Martin, yeah. For me, this is the type of entrepreneur I like. Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. I'm the type of entrepreneur, I don't have a, 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 an overdraft. Yeah. I will not apply for a, yeah. an overdraft. Yeah. I will never apply for an overdraft. So I'd rather stunt my business and not get certification that could elevate me, quadruple my business. Because I'm, I don't have the ability to take risk, no, but, I'm, but I'm in business now. No, I'm he's, ta he's taking risks, he's not, not growing. Yeah. He's saying that I'll rather save up and I'll build my nest egg yes. yeah. until I'm at a safe point. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll take the risk. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. I want to do it. He's not risk averse. He's not risk averse. 30%, He's not 30 risk averse. on 1.4 million. It's sitting 400k odd. Yeah. yeah. 400k is But what his operational 400K. cost. 400k. 400k guys. His operational it's in the cost bank. a killer. And that's what he's saying. Yes. Yeah. If, I, if I have the certification today, I will quadruple. Yeah. And if I quadruple, my operational expenses they are going to up, skyrocket. Yeah. Yeah. What you're saying, Martin, around his finances. I want him to have 
more confidence around that. And I want him to go draft it out. You know, if I'm building my company, what percentage of this 1.4 million am I making sure is there tomorrow and in five years in order for us to grow this business to the next level? Mm. So that's what I want to hear from him. He's a strong entrepreneur. He must do it, mm. but he must grow in his assertiveness. Yes. Hey, I have been here for a long time. I have been here for a long time. I have been here for a long time. So, um, uh, for my clients, and that's actually people that actually need me and they need my services. So, this time it was dif difficult and go through it because I knew that I know that I was Let's not forget that he's already put 20 20,000 20, 20, 20 odd in thousand okay. into it to get his processes done mm -hmm. yes. so the processes are there he's paid for his quality management system and it's working in his business mm -hmm. and he's saying the certification that i need to pay to a certification body mm -hmm. if someone can help me great mm -hmm. otherwise i'm gonna wait until there's money and there and i don't so that he's in a mining industry He's uh, coming against guys who have high capital, strong capital mu mm -hmm. muscle. In order for him to grow, he just doesn't have, I'm going to say, generational capital mm -hmm. against the people he's up against. But you see, maybe that's with, not such a With such a risk-averse approach. Mm -hmm. And look, maybe let's move away from the overdraft. Okay? Mm -hmm. But such a risk-averse approach in growing the business as a whole. I don't see this as risk averse. I no, actually I see it as extremely strategic. Yeah. Mm. You see, for me, this, this is the thing also. When you are in that mining sector, the question is, are you trying to take up on the big guys or are you trying to build yourself up? Yes. And, and his approach gradually. is that building himself up gradually in that. You know, there's no, there's no need to go and start uh, competing with the Sandvix of the world mm, in yeah. the mining yeah. industry. Okay. But yeah. you want to build yourself to the point that, and I like how he's doing that growth. And you know, when he speaks about quality management, yeah. for the first time ever on the show, I hear someone that speaks about quality management understanding exactly what it is. I think I'd like to see him back. Okay. Really? Yeah. I, 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 the, you don't you know agree? What? I, don't, I don't usually am able to put my neck on the block like that for, for an entrepreneur and that, but this an entrepreneur. I don't think he needs this 50,000 rand. I think the mo best thing that we could do for him mm -hmm. is to give him advice around how he can move his business to a place where he can grow. I must be honest with you, having looked at his, at his case study and his financials and his presentation. Look, he didn't come out very strong with his financial presentation mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Let's call him back. I think we have some valuable feedback for him, honey. That could really, really see him in a different place. Bakali lega cool food. Gute ubulo gubuge lomshino ako unga ba bugi bo na imeswen katlogo msampe be abo lupi ni aula. Hey, hanga tiput. I just hope for the best in Amuti. We are born a bag born on a logo no good tea, pink alam, shawmbe, uguzo, pichela, tela ma fans, a one. I'm slamming a logo next time. No, no long saka cool. I guess you're too much as you wait to attend the Ababa. You born a rapetum for me. Yes. Give us an insight. You're born, but you're born, but you're born. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least, 10 being the most, how do you think you did on that? Hmm, I think about 7. Sure, that's confidence. Why 7? Uh, because I think I was able to finish and touch on all the points that I actually wanted to touch on. Hmm, you're not factoring your body language and your lack of eye contact <laughs> in. I'd maybe give you a 5 and a half, a 6, okay? okay? Yeah. We have some actions that we want you to take forth, okay? okay? That we're gonna share with you. And okay. Lucas is just gonna speak you through those. Okay. Yeah, um, three things that you need to do, perhaps, that uh, that needs to show that you are focusing on this. And the first one is, 
Um, you need to go and, and, and find enterprise development assistance. Um, you're working in the mines environment. Part of the uh, licensing of the mines really is grounded on enterprise development. So maybe go and, and find out in this time, go and find out who can help you, how can they help you through their enterprise development budget to get your ISO certification. Um, that's one thing that, that, that you need to do. The second issue again is uh, you need to get an accountant in your business, um, but we're not just talking someone that's going to do books. You need to get an accountant in your business that is going to give you financial consulting. Someone that's going to be able to point you to the right directions, help you put up uh, budgets for the year to come and that so that you understand where your business is going financially. Um, and the third thing, please find a coach. Um, we see that you have been doing business on your own for a very long time. Um, the confidence is not there because you, you sort of don't have a uh, you know, sounding board to bounce your ideas and see where, where they can take you and that. So perhaps do that, find a coach, someone in the local community that has been running business longer, um, you know, or someone in the industry that has been doing it longer than you and that find someone that you can at least be able to, to, to share ideas with and that will point you in the right direction. And those are the things um, that we would like you to do um, for, from here on. Okay. Thanks, Lucas. Okay. Tutesi, are you ready for the verdict? Yes. Yes, I am. Martin? Mdudusi, firstly, let me say congratulations on a good business, okay? Um, <clears throat> and uh, congratulations in keeping your business afloat you. for so long. There is an element of being overly cautious, and that's evident. And that comes in with, with some of the tasks that Lucas has given you. But having said that, um, we are going to welcome you back to the next round. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done, well Tutuzi. Done, Thank you so much. We're going to ask you to, over the next 10 days, to go and do the tasks that Lucas has told you about. Yes. We're going to follow you and see that you execute these to the best of your ability. And we want to see your business on the other end of those actions, because right. we're sure that it'll be at a better place. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you, Mr. All right. Congratulations. All right. Bye. Uh, lessons I've learned here. Uh, it's quite a lot because I always thought maybe uh, when you run a business alone it's better than when you have people and I realized mind you my you know it's actually the other way around you know you need somebody to bounce off your ideas and then and all that so yeah if you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show contact us on making moves at sabc.co.za or visit our website.